guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys some of the toys i got for my birds and to be completely honest my intro is going to be a bit blotchy hopefully not too blotchy because i filmed the video but i didn't film an intro so yeah it's, hopefully i'm gonna try making it not as blotchy but i mean you know it happens um, and I'll also film an outro. The other thing is I'll film some of my birds um, in Canada right now. It's super hot um, But yeah, I did give them a bath So it's a bit wet in there, but that's gonna dry up in like 15 minutes and before anyone freaks out I cleaned the aviary like just yesterday. Um, I clean it every like in a week maybe twice or so um, even though it's a big aviary, I really don't like the look of that messiness and most of the time it's actually their feathers <laughs> Because blossom and muffin are actually both molting So yeah, I have feathers everywhere. So I just remove it regardless and it's very humid So if they drop any of their food like veggies and stuff, it just it, it humid and fresh vegetables they don't smell well um i do change their thing obviously like their food bowl if it's like i remove it after an hour or so i know most people would suggest removing their veggies after like two or three hours but it's so humid it's just gonna smell so i remove it um normally i would actually f feed my birds twice so like they'll get like their veggies early in the morning and then they'll get like their dry mix around like the evening time -ish. but now i'm kind of like doing like early morning mid afternoon ish and then evening so they get like two veggie portions if that makes any sense and then they'll get their dry mix um but that has been what's working for me because in canada right now sometimes it's just so hot it's like 34 degrees 35 degrees and it's just not working um and i want them to be able to eat a lot of veggies obviously it's best for their health so i just like divide it it's, it's still the same portion i just divide it to two um and they always have pellets in there and like healthy seeds and stuff um so they're good um they're at a healthy weight so hopefully you know you guys enjoyed this video um so yeah let's just get started um i think i got the whole dragonfly collection um and i think she had like a watermelon collection and a gnome no it's an owl collection not a gnome collection i'm confusing the gnome collection with another shop um and for the watermelon collection a few years back i think i got some of them and it was a hit but this time i just wanted to get the dragonfly i really like the color combination green is my favorite color but the blue is it's so pretty and complimentary look at it how pretty is that um so yeah i got that one um blossom actually for the link because i know some people are gonna ask hey where's this one like which is the link for this particular toy i'm gonna put the whole collections link um mainly because honestly the materials are, are kind of similar on the smaller ones they're just rearranged differently or like some are dyed um like the balsa was some are dyed green but then some are plain and now i'm gonna get really confused which is which so i'm just gonna put the whole collection and you guys could decide what you guys want but this is one of them so this is like the seagrass mat um and blossom seems interested in that one so that's one of them the other one is behind Blossom. I don't even know if you could tell. I don't want to move Blossom. Let's get out of the way <laughs> for this video. But that'd be so mean. Uh, but this is kind of what that one looks like. They also have like a dragonfly. Um, so there's that. There's those two. I just put those in that corner. This is another one. It's very nice. I really like the green. The thing is, this is not going to be very pretty in about like two weeks. Because my... Um, my birds stay in a sunroom, so the dye gets bleached. So this dye, it's going to be like a washed out green. But right now, it's so pretty. And I really like it. This is another flat perch that I got. Um, Muffin really likes um, sleeping here, napping here. I just replaced it with this one. And again, it has like this dragonfly design on it. It's so pretty. Um, and I think this is either 5x5 five five or 6x5. Six so yeah, I removed my other one that I made myself. I'm just going to have to wash it, but yeah. And then there's this one. This one has like a rope sort of thing that you tie from the back. 
but this is what that looks like i'm just gonna quickly go over them and then this is how this one looks like and then we have this one okay as you can see this one's blossom like she did that <laughs> she really went and started chewing on it so that one's seems like it'll be a favorite she was like staying here and she seemed to enjoy that one this one is very nice as well i hope the lighting is doing it justice but this is another one it's really pretty um it has like cardboard and inside it has like a balsa another balsa so it's really cute and these are the two last ones that i have there's like feather there that's blossoms and she's moping but yeah this is what this looks like they're mainly a lot of balsa a lot of chewables so i think she will like it oh i actually forgot one <laughs> that's what that one looks like i i know the lighting's not doing it maybe a lot of justice but it's also very pretty she's so pretty i just love her you're so pretty come here look at her what a cutie bag oops there we go look how pretty she is she's such a good girl right she has a bald head she always likes me you know giving her some scratches but then midway or like less than midway she'll start doing it herself because she's just like i don't like the way you do it <laughs> so yeah but she is molting as you can see she has quite a bit of pin feathers i have given her a bath i'm um, also blossom just to help with their pin feathers um but yeah hopefully they'll be done soon i think right now it's just new feathers coming out so, she's so cute Itchy but cute. <laughs> Sorry for putting you on blast. All of a sudden he's so quiet now. Is it because he knows he's being filmed? <laughs> he's so pretty though. You're such a pretty boy. Yeah, he's just not going to make a single noise now. I swear, from the background, it was only Sky. Making all that noise. Oh, maybe he is. Little chip chirp. He's shy now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Muffin says bye bye.